So, ngayong aga, no, ari kami subong sa Tortosa Farm, organic farm, dari sa Kawayan. So, ari si Mr. Jeril uh, Okana, siya yung farm manager ni Ma'am Tortosa. No, so, sir, may kunting pamangkot lang. So, saan ka mo nagsugod nitong, uh, ano nyo rito, farming composting? Actually, nag-start tong, ano, ang farm. Uh, last, ano lang, ang ininayir lang, April. Okay. So, tapos, an... Okay. So, na nag-start. Uh, nag-start ito. Uh, bali, accident na kami na kilala ni Boss. Okay. Uh, ang introduce ko sa kanyang organic farm. Okay. About lettuce and vermiculture. Okay. Uh, ito yung vermiculture naman about uh, technology yung ginagamit namin dito. About arang pinapakain namin sa worms. Uh, ng mud press at saka manure. Okay. Good. Uh, bali, ang kanyang content, uh, 70-30 yung napalo namin. 70% carbon. 30% of the gene. Okay. Yung source of carbon naman, yung mud press. Cool. Ah, abundant yan dito. Ah, at saka yung methodology naman namin, yung manure. Kung walang available na manure, yung mga Usually, green Usually, anong manure? Ah, karabang manure ngayon. Good. Ngayon ang available namin dito sa, ano, sa paligid. Yes, good. Yung karabang manure. Good. Sang last, ang mga karabaw dito, manure, nayaan lang. Oo. Oh. Walang income. Yes. Pero sa nag, ano nitong farm. So, ginabakal nyo? Oo. Oh. Good. Naka, 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 ano din, naka tulong din si ma'am. Oh. Sa, about sa income sa, dito sa surrounding sa, sa farm. Kasi, bini, bini, ano na yun, binibili. Hmm. So, history lang, sir, itong, yung, yung, nagsugod ka mo nitong lettuce. Anong year? Ah, ganun din, April din. Ah, so, April din. this year lang, oh. ha? Bali, Good. this year talaga, nag-start ang, ano, ang amin project na uh, ganito, magkatanim ng letos at saka mga gano'n ng vermiculture. Good. Kasi Bale, itong, ano, itong, itong medium yung oh, vermi. Oh. Okay. At saka meron kaming ginagawa ngayon, ano, ano, ano yung uh, organic yung katawag ng bukasi. Oh, good. Ang oh. mm -hmm. bukasi naman, ano naman yun, marami naman yung mix na, ano, kailangan. Merong mud press, uh, milas, sugar king, ano din, waste. Yun. At saka chicken manure. Okay. Uh, so yung bukas is the best kaso it will take time. Ah, okay. but maganda so, itong ano, pa, itong pa, 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 Papadaliin ko yung trabaho mo later on. Yung Bacillus amylolicae fascien in okay. Japan. So it's a fungicide, bactericide, but not suicide. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so ari kami subong dire sa Tortosa Farm. So number one, to feature, no? Kasi ilan lang itong organic, no? At least kung for your information, ang negros dependent sa sugar. Ah. That's why ang advocacy namon o with GOV no is uh, agricultural transformation. Because of the WTO, no hindi ta ka compete sa sugar, bisan sa rice. Hindi ta ka compete. Alam mo ba sa Vietnam, cost to produce ng rice is 6 pesos. Yeah. Oh. Sa Pilipinas pila? 14. 8 to 12, 14 more. So ano may hindi natin, di ba? Lalo na sa sugar. Wala hindi ta manalo sa India yung high fructose. So, sweet din siya, pero dito, cost of production natin, manual pa, unlike sa Brazil, mechanized na sila. Mechanized na. Ang the best solution is to uh, agricultural transformation. Yun na, hinay-hinay na. No? So, at least it's good na si Ma'am Tortosa uh, kasama natin sa advocacy ng organic. No? So, kasi before, ang mindset ng mga farmer, when you say organic, dugay, uh, katulad na ginagawa mo, laborious. Ayaw nila, gusto nila lagi instant. Kaya ang sakit natin ngayon, puro instant. 95% ng ginakaon ng tao, instant, instant poison. See? So, ang objective natin, nag-picture tayo na organic, na it can be done. No? Be, uh, profitable. So, but because of the new technology, uh, makaka-adapt na tayo. No?
ang modern na technology ng mga synthetic chemicals, yun ang makapatay sa ito. Taka ka, bakit puso cancer? Dumadami na ngayon yung dialysis center. No? So, because of gina, 95% na ginakaon natin is poison. Ang nasa market subong, para mas stay fresh, ginabot, ginabotangan sa formalin. Talong, kamati. Japanese company yung hatake. No? Ito yung in-spray. No? Foliar siya. Microbial inukulan, kung tawagin. So, ini siya. I-mix mo lang. 2 tablespoon per napsak spray. Yes. Kung mga seeds, no? Uh, you can try this ano, no, sa seeds ng tomato. Yung seed ng tomato, isosok mo lang sa nursery tray. So, paano isosok? Hindi siya, pretimpla ka lang sa, sa baso. No? Tapos, yung seed, ibutang mo sa nursery tray. After 2 weeks, ayun na, happy na siya. Ayun na yung result. Oh, Na-treat na ko. Oh, yung cauliflower. Department of Agriculture yan. Ha? Yun yung, ano, ang bilis. Ang bilis na result. Okay. Pagdating naman sa rice, dalawang kasi. kami subong sa Puro 4 Barangay Magdusay, Kawayan Negros Occidental no? uh, Diri subong um, the best na mga organic farm no? Toto sa organic farm the divine sanctuary it's almost 50 hectares here and we have here also no? the owner Mrs. Risa Tortosa Berder and his son Cortan Tortosa Berder okay so so, saan o ka mo nagsugod yun uh, pag, uh, uh, sa pagtanom ng organic farm here in Kawayan? Ini nga mo yung uh, project ka ini na uh, organic farm. Tinitanan na ano ini tungod sa akong na anak. Kay ini siya, siya gid ang nagpamuno sini. Isang dito pa kami sa England sa una, gusto niya gid rin na magbalik sa Pilipinas. Ang purpose niya sini, na siling niya, mabulig siya kuno sa mga tao dari, sa mga lalo na sa mga taga-bukid, na mahatagan sila sa trabaho. So, sa pag-graduate niya sa 2017, nang pauli dari siya, na siya lang. Dari sa Pilipinas? Oo. Oo, may offer. Ini siya ang trabaho kay landscape architect ang iyang naging graduate sa Canada. Game turn down niya ini, kay gusto niya git na magbalik dili sa Pilipinas, kaya niya git kuno niya nga uh, focus na magbulik dili sa tao. Abi namon, 6 months pa lang, mabalik na siya. Pero wala, wala git siya nagpuli ya. Dili sa babaw sa amon, uh, farm dili sa Mabuksay, yung, sa taas din siya nga bukid, bali 2.6 kilometers, ini siya halin sa main highway. Then, ini ang Mabuksay. Ari kinatili ang mga tortosa. So, ancestral? Oo, uh, ancestral na Mondinga uh, area. Area, okay. Alin pa sa mga kalulahan namon. So, ang papa namon, na military, sa una, siya na di ang nagbakal sa babaw. Tapos, din subdivide niya ini sa walo namon na kami maglutod ng mga anak. Kanan kami, halos sa guwa kami na ga-start sa ibang na lugar. May great. Oo, oo. So, kung wala, amo na ang naano ba lang ha, kung wala sa anak ko, wala. 
na mo na to kiban nga amo na digali ang farm na mo nga mga human gali nga nabdam may purpose may purpose may mission oo oh. oh. mission oo oh, oh. ang amo nga letos dire nagstart din ni siya sang last year July 2018 nagstart din kami production sa gamay pa lang kami na nagalibot kami na duha oo oh. Hmm. Dari sa Negros, Bakulo? Dari sa Negros, sa Bakulo. Ah, okay. Oo, oh, na, ako nag-drive. Kami oh. nag-deliver na dua. Oo. Oh. So, na ano, na gila mo, nakabudla, hindi dya. Kaya ang tao, dari nga daan sa Negros, eh, hindi pag bala na ano sa ginatawag na salad. Paano nila makaon ang ginatawag na lettuce? Diba? Pero so, subo... Raw, ginakaon oh, yan, raw. Oo, oh, oh, raw. So, ang importante, Kay ro ina inang land organic gid. Yes. Kay ina nga daan diretso na iya nga naga sulod sa ato na mga nutrients sa ato nga lawas inang lang wala chemical. Yes because ang uh, objective ng organic let thy food be as medicine. Yes. Yeah. And you are what you eat. Oh yes. Kamo na ang ano ang amon nga ano diri nga siguro iya man ini guidance sa ato nga Ginoo kay ini tanan indi man ina mo mahimo. Kung wala sa iya, kinangla may blessing din siya. Kag, amoy na eh, ang purpose na amon din iya sa pagbulig sa mga tao din eh, kag mahatag sa ang amon din ang lugar nga daan. Healing ni siya mo. Yes. Ang amon din ang yeah, Divine sanctuary. Oo, amon na nga divine sanctuary. So, Cortan, how old are you now? I'm 25. Wow, at your age, no? I, I was amazed, no? Usually at your age, no? Millennial, no? Oh. You want uh, electronics, everything, no? But you're you're engaged in farming. Oh, it's a different age. You can be an artist, no here, no. You can in be Philippines. Any, you can, <laughs> but whatever age you are, if you truly believe in what you do, you can do anything. So yes, you, you know. At your age, I was amazed that you you love farming. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. you love farming because it's uh, connected to nature. It's a uh, divine. Oh. <laughs> Kortan, what's your uh, future plan here in? Uh, Yeah, Divine Sanctuary. Oh. Tortosa Organic Park. Okay, so sorry, get uh, gamay lang longer. So, oh, okay uh, lang, okay lang, okay, okay lang. Okay, okay. Uh, so um, my plan here is to... I graduated as a landscape architect in England as a, a four-year postgraduate. Mm -hmm. So I plan to um, bring people back to nature. So it's going to be an integrated project because, you know, it's 50 hecto hectares, yes. demo potential, you know. It's a nature. Normally, at the weekend, most people, they go to the mall, they go to the beach resort, but well at nature, well at mountain resort. Yes. So, what we want to do here is to have a mixture so that people, they can enjoy nature, they can be outdoors, you know, hiking, hiking. Camping, camping, mountain biking, yes. horse riding. Simply lying. Um, And also for health. Yes. Also for health. Uh, you ionize. Oh. Mm. Ionize no. air. Fresh air. Oh. Fresh air. Fresh air in the pollution society. So it's a sanctuary yes. for a uh, yes. person with a health problem. Mm -hmm. yes. So when I was very small, uh, my parents used to take me hiking. So we grew up as a, a family who likes to go walking, who really enjoys nature. Yes. So as a family, we want to give that to people also, to have that experience. Mm -hmm. And also, our purpose is to share this place uh, sa mga tanan diri sa aton na makakadtok sila diri. Ma-share namon kung ano bala ang ginatawag na mountain resort. kay ini siya ang purpose ini. Hindi lang sa pag ginatawag na view, nature, sa ano, kundi oh. ang ginakaon natin kay mga ano mga kami diri sa future sa restaurant, organic oh, restaurant. Yes. Nga makapik ka lang dira, makapik ka lang makaon. Pick and pay. Na, yes, pick and pay. Actually, uh, you're on the right direction, ma'am. Negros is almost 15 to 20 years pioneer in organic farming. Our industry of sugar is dying. Because because of the WTO, no? So, it's more cheaper to import high fructose than to use our raw sugar sure. here. So what we need now in Negros is a transformation agriculture. So we have to transform, we have to try. Now, for export, we need to be international standard. So what is international standard for export, especially for fruit and vegetable? 
We have to be organic. Mm, yeah. We have to be organic. Uh, so, Cortan Tortosa Berter, uh, you have a vision for this area, no? Mm. The future agritourism for organic. Yes. Yeah. No? So we will looking for that, and thank you that uh, you are on our side. We are promoting organic. So most yeah. importantly, especially as somebody of the millennial generation, I really want to encourage people of my age to be, be, to be part of that. Because we live in a world of you know, modern technology, city, concrete. It disconnects to nature. Yes. Most important to get back to nature because... Back to basics. Back yes. to basics. Because actually there is also enjoyment and fun and, you know, you can really grow mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally in nature. Yes. Camping, looking at the stars, yes. going for walks, mm. you know, breathing in the fresh air. You know, childhood, childhood things. Uh, only old school or old farmer that say organic is non-productive, very slow. But no, there's a new method of uh, organic farming. Why, why Israel? It's not an agricultural land, but why is there number one mm. in agriculture? See, Israel exactly. is a desert place. Yes. Oh, see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's, it's not what you have, it's what you do with what yes. you have. The problem, uh, the, the millennial, they don't go for agriculture. Lesser and lesser are going to show up. Because I think sometimes they think straight away it's hard work. Yes. No? Hindi na nila ginaanuda yun nga ay budlay na iya. That's why uh, for many people my age, uh, all over the world, not just Philippines, they will they will go to McDonald's, they will go to Jollibee, and they will see French fries, but they've never seen a potato in the ground. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. A lot of people have been asking us, um, is the project a religious project? Because we call it why divine sanctuary. Yes, is what they ask us. Okay. And actually, for us, the meaning of divine sanctuary, Tortosa Organic Farm, the name divine sanctuary is just really to say special place. Um, as before, in the generation before, my uncle Wilf Wilfredo Tortosa, Willie Tortosa, he used to be a very famous healer yes. here in Negros Occidental. Um, he used to bring a lot of people to this mountain. And as the Tortosa family, his relatives, we really agree that there is something healing yes. special here. Mm. But that's not for us to say, it's for our for visitors you, to find to out themselves. Yes. Yes. So we have a Facebook page. If you look on Facebook, we called it the Divine Sanctuary. The Divine Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Exactly. Okay. So it's a, a white star logo. Okay. So um, as, a, as a family, we have also created a book, okay. um, which I have published myself called um, Amor Vincit Omnia, uh, Love Conquers All. And actually, this is a dedication to the project, the yeah. story of the project, okay. and also a dedication to my my uncle who recently passed away mm -hmm. with Wilfredo Tortosa. Ah, okay. So, we're selling it in um, Ayala Mall, Fiesta Market. And we're also selling it on Amazon.com, a bit like Lazada.com, but in international website. So if anyone is interested on that, um, you can find it on the Divine Sanctuary Facebook, and uh, you can also find it in Ayala Mall, Fiesta Market. Okay. And I think at least after reading that, you will understand why we are here. Yes, exacto. Damo uh, complicado. But <laughs> mas importante sa loob. So, we're here. Ginaagda ko kamo tanan dere welcome gid kamo. Hindi na kumaghambal. You have. To see it for yourself. Exactly. No, uh, because each one of us will experience, will have a different experience. So um, it's I just you know heartily invited on behalf of our family. You're welcome to come here, and hopefully it's gonna be a lifetime future for us. We will try our best. Na patagaan namon. We will give help to everyone oh. because amuna siya, that is our really purpose and objective. Mm -hmm. Through God, sa mga blessing niya, mahimo namon ang gusto niya na ipaabot sa tanang na tao din. Thank you. And, okay. and just before, just before also, um, it's it's not just a local project. It's for everyone, locals, internationals, yeah. OJT. Yeah. Schools. 
the locals. On behalf of RMN, DYHP, Tukib Negros, ga pasalamat kami, ma'am. Thank you. Risa, for Tan, no? for inviting us here at the Divine Sanctuary Tortosa Organic Farm. No? So, salamat. Uh, also, uh, pasalamat ako kay partner Patrick Bukabal, our cameraman. Uh, <laughs> So, co-host in Tukib Negros. No? So, salamat, Gid. Kayo. Thank you. Salamat.